Good day, everybody. Brian here, quantlabsnet.com. We are now September 15th, 2024. We're a couple of weeks away before we start getting into ramping up our C++ uh, futures in options trading and all the like behind our paywall. I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, if you're like me, needing a refresher in C++, or you're trying to start from ground zero, a good place to start is to look at what books are available in C++. So I found, um, I've already talked about C++ 17 being right now for 2024, the standard in HFT shops. So it's a good place to start. And then uh, as 20, version 20 comes out and matures, that's the next version you'd focus on, but you don't have to put as much work into it because well, you know, the, pre the prior version of, of 17. So uh, let's take a look at some of these resources. They look like they're free, legit, I don't know. So the first one came out was Nick, I'll never get these names right, IO Sudis has nice books on 17 and 20. Check that out. So um, looks like he's been doing a while. One thing when it comes to C++, I will say that uh, templates is, uh, a secret way of doing uh, HFT. I'm not gonna go on beyond that. Um, if you know anything more about that, please comment away in the video in uh, here. You also have the C++ standard library. That's pretty standard. I don't know if it's being used as much, um, but uh, here's the books. So I guess right here, 17, the complete guide. Um, so it looks like you have to pay and uh, order the ebook here now again i don't know which one i'm going to go with i'm just putting these this post out there to show you some examples that people are suggesting another one um c plus plus reference.com now i know about this this is more of a reference uh guide it's i prefer books because they're more instructional they're in a certain order uh, more examples and just better explanation but from ground zero to learn this might be a good place to start or not start but you know as a reference same with see the language as well okay so you can see here while C++ reference is a great re uh, place for learning how to use uh, certain functions or structure class in my opinion it's not that good for looking up which feature in C++ to use for certain tasks, which option is better among multiple possible ways of doing the task or best practices. Um, the only way you'll know if you're doing it efficiently, the HFT way is by be being among those coders that are experienced to do it the right way with low latency in mind. So what you learn will be most likely totally different from what you pick up uh, in industry. Uh, if you get access into a firm. Uh, example, not the most quite big minus in this case, got a tour approach would be better uh, than reading a reference alone. I agree, and that's another way of saying, look at a book. How does one do that? How would, uh, how would the other people even identify the modern, parati modern paradigms are? Um, okay, so this book has been fairly popular, Scott Meyer's book already mentioned that nothing in 20 nothing in 14 17 20 are particularly elusive if you understand the language up to 20 uh, to uh, C++ 11 so um, it seems many firms are using uh, 17 as a, as a baseline but obviously when you go from 11 to 17 it changes radically but if you want to go as far back to, to uh, C++ 11 you, you might be better but prior to from what i understand 17 is as of 17 that's considered modern c plus plus rainer's grin grim uh books ought to be good modern uh modern modern mes cpp.com let's see that okay um so it looks like he's a speaker of some kind um Table of contents gives you an overview of all posts classified into categories. Short video portfolio, you'll find my books, courses, and he does mentoring as well. Um, 
She's worked quite a lot since 2002 in C++. Wouldn't be surprised as a contributor somewhere in there. Also work with Python as well. Uh, attend conferences and stuff like that. Uh, so his portfolio, let's see his books. So he's published quite a few books. It looks like 20 uh, standard library. So that might be another good place to go. Uh, core guidelines. Um, again, I would stick with the C++ 17. We can see how vast C++ can get um, when you move into 20. More, more and more firms will probably the next year or two start more and more pushing into or moving into 20. But don't be surprised. You'll be expecting no 17, at least that. And here you have the standard library. So that answers the prior question about the standard library. Uh, so that's going to be changed, obviously, uh, for C++. Uh, core guidelines. Uh, again, I guess that's for modern C. This one, I think, will be a very important uh, book uh, or similar to it for concurrency because that's what C++ is about when it comes to uh, HFT is, is being able to, to multi-thread concurrency as well. And, and as it says in his prior bio, he has also worked on Python as well. So that could be a good choice as well. If you got any comments, you think that might be better than this, please uh, comment away and just let, let us know what you think is the best book out there. Um, and again, there's the uh, creator of C++, Bjorn Strauss. I can never get his name. Stouts. Strauss Strout. I think he's Swedish or Norwegian because Scandinavian. So he's got here C++ uh, in-depth series, second edition. So there you go including many that are new in C++. So some new features. This might be a standard because he is the creator of C++. Um, such as loose uh, semantics, uniform initialization, lambda, blah, 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 blah. Stuart even covers some extensions being made for C++. Concepts, modules, and with a discussion of design and evolution of C++. So that's his latest book. Uh, might be a good one to look at. Again, from the creator of uh, Bjorn Strauss, Strauss Strout. Yeah, I, I can never get his name right. Continuing along, uh, last book here, Andreas uh, Fert Fertig. I don't know. I can never get names right, as I said. So this guy's got programming with C++ concepts, co coroutines, and ranges. Um, again, you see some example coding here. Uh, so I don't know if this is, that's a table of contents. So it looks like some of these are, yeah, all, all are all be purchased online. Um, but, uh, there, there's other standard, um, uh, authors out there that I'll probably not mentioned here, but this is from two years ago. So again, if you got any concepts or anything, uh, let me know. Anyways, uh, moving on to what I'm doing. If you want to learn more what I'm doing, quantlabsnet.com under learn here at the top or registration is at the bottom in the description in the video itself here I, I can get get you the C++ uh, ebook with HFT in mind what's involved there's no coding samples there's very few just to give you a high level of what's involved in what's put into a trading system from a higher frequency trading perspective um, also um, one other thing I've talked about as we move into uh, first week in October. So if you're getting this video right away, good time to start learning C++. Um, this Quant Leap programming group will be talking about all C++ plus the strategies themselves, uh, specifically uh, uh, futures options, and uh, obviously market making down the road, machine learning, AI. I mean, it's a very long involved process but still in the best practice of what um, HFT uh, shops and trading firms are expecting out of you so this can help your career It'll be a private community built out of it as well as long as people <laughs> start uh, engaging with it and that's behind a paywall so it's it's, fr it's 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 you can speak freely anonymously no one needs to know who you are behind a paywall and there's gonna be a whole community built around that with uh, the groups that I've already got set up as well so again 
to learn more about what I'm doing, the books I'm going to go with. Um, but that's a good selection right there. I've just showed you. And then learn more about that. Just go with uh, C++ and HFT ebooks and uh, get that at realquantlabsnet.com under the uh, Learn tab. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.